A viewer asked me a question about how to get all of his products to show up. In this case, there's 10 products. When you're selecting a specific month, even if you don't have any uh, sales or anything in those months. For example, if we pick September, product four and product 10 are missing. However, if we select November, product 10 has sales for quantity is what we're showing here, but product four is still missing. And he wants to show all of them. One of the first things I tried was looking using the function ZN, changing nulls to zero. The problem is there is nothing in these, in this month and this product combination. There's no values, there's no records for the ZN to operate against. If product four was in that month and there was just no value, then the ZN would work, but there's just no, there's nothing for the ZN to even connect with. Is I've created this other worksheet called Blended. I have a new, I made a copy of the data set. And when we come to here, we're going to pull over product because we want to show all the products and you see all 10 products are here. We're not going to filter for by date and we're going to blend it or connect it with this main data set. Come under data, edit blend relationships. And I've already gone ahead and done this, but if this were to show up the first time, you would see potentially a lot of different options here. Tableau tries to figure things out for you. And so you would just come through and remove them. And I'm gonna show you what this is gonna look like here. So you're gonna add, and what originally I had it, when I first joined, it showed all these different date combinations for the primary data source and the secondary data source. And that's where it gets a little bit messy and you, you don't want that. You don't want the dates joining on the dates or blending on the dates. You want to blend on the product. And so you're going to select product and product. Click OK, click OK. When you go to the main data set, you'll see that under product, there's a little infinity symbol that indicates that they are connected. So let's bring over the quantity. See all those values. Now we're going to go back to the main data set. It's only connected on the product. When you bring a value over from a blended data source, it's aggregated. You're only bringing over one value, one aggregated value. And so when I come over here, well, this says start date, but I renamed it in the, the main data set to order date. So when you come over and you show the order date, you're going to see that every value or every month has the same value because the value we're bringing over from the blended data source is one single number. And you can see again here, we still do not have any records for product four in these months. So there's nothing even to connect with in those months. So how do we solve this problem? You're not going to be able to show months across the top if you're using blended data because it's only pulling over one value. Same thing, we're gonna to have to get rid of the quantity. What we're gonna do is we're, it's, we're gonna have a start month and an end month. I'm gonna show you what these look like. This is just your basic parameter date. And the list is going to be all the available months. You'll notice here, there's a, this is actually a calculated field, order date month. And that order date month is actually using the date trunk function. This first part date here for some reason, it shows up as a date timestamp, and I didn't want the timestamp, so I just changed it to date. This is the key here, date trunk month. So it's gonna take your order date and move it to the first day in the month. This works the same for week and for year. If you had day, it would move you to the first hour of the day, but we're looking at month here. So what that will do 
is it changes all these dates, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's changing it to the first of the, the month for every month. That's going to make it really easy for this next step. We're going to create a new calculated field. And hopefully this isn't too messy or too hard to follow. So if the order date is greater than or less than the start date, if you look over here, the start date is October. And the, and the date order date month is less than or equal to the end month. So we've selected October and November. So if the order date is October 1st or November 1st, then we're going to pull over the quantity. Otherwise, we're just going to show a zero. I'm going to show you what this looks like. We're going to the parameters. This has got month across the top, and now we have quantity selected. Quantity selected. And you'll see that there are zeros in every month except for the month range that we selected. So we're going to, just to show you, we'll go September, and that brings September in as well. Where this gets to be important, remember the secondary source of the blended data? It brings over the value aggregated. So by using these parameters, we can aggregate this whole value, and it's only going to give us the months that we want. So I've got the main data set again. Let me go back. Main data set. We've got the quantity, and then we have the quantity selected. And you'll see that they are different. Nice thing about these parameters is these parameters are exist throughout the entire workbook, regardless of what the data source is. So I'm going to change this to August, and you'll know that this notice that this changes as well. I'm going to go to dashboard one. The quantity is matching the total quantity, whereas the quantity selected, and you can't really tell that because it's so small, Sorry. the quantity selected matches the quantity selected up here, this entire quantity, because we put zeros in all the other values. So that's how you get all the quantities to show up even if we were just to pick September, September to September, and it shows quantities or it shows zero for those months. Because here you go, it's looking at all the values all the way across. And in some of the months, there is zero. So that is how you show all the products all the time.